Happy to see you here on my channel Mathematics and really interesting challenge today, very tricky challenge, 6 divided by 6 times 6 divided by 6. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you how to solve this correctly and step by step. First of all, I want to show you this first interpretation, so we have 6 divided by 6 times 6 divided by 6. So here's here's our challenge. And right now a lot of students solve this question like that. We have right here division 6 divided by 6 and we have the same division right here. Okay, so right here we have 1, 6 divided by 6 and right here we have also 1 with this multiplication in the middle. Our correct answer is 1 option C. So a lot of students solve this question like that. It takes place, this solution takes place. But I want you to understand that in mass, in mass we can't solve our challenges randomly, we can't solve our problems randomly. We should know what is the correct order to this problem because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So you need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And in this second interpretation let's use something different but um, order of operation. In this case let's use for example this PMDMC order of operation which is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to this PMDMC and right now I just want to rewrite this challenge right here and we will solve this challenge according to according to PMDMC order of operation. So we have 6 divided by 6 times 6 divided by 6. Okay, here's our, here's our challenge. And right now let's solve this question according to PMDMC. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so in a strict order from the top to the bottom. Parenthesis has the highest priority. Then we should evaluate exponent, then we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the last step is addition and addition and subtraction group, okay? So right now let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge. What elements do we have? We have division and multiplication only, yeah? So we should find this place right here, so multiplication, we have division, we, we don't have addition, we don't have subtraction, so we can easily skip this part, we don't have parentheses, exponent, we have only multiplication and division group. And right now here's maybe the main thing, what is the correct order to do this problem? Multiplication, division group, but how can we evaluate our challenge? Because we have all the time this division, multiplication group, and what is the first step? Division first, or should we multiply it first, or should we divide on the right hand side? This is the main thing right here. Because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? But according to PMDMC, very, everything is simple, we should scan what is the first sign from left to right. Of course, three signs and the first sign from left to right, this is our left hand side, this is our right hand side and left hand side. On the left hand side, the first sign is this division, so 6 divided by 6 gives us 1, okay? So right here we have 1, yeah, this is our first step, this division, and we have multiplication by 6 and division by 6. So as you can see, before we divided 6 divided by 6, but in this interpretation, we just rewrite this expression right here, we just rewrite it, we don't need to divide or multiply, we just uh, rewrite it. And if we scan once more, we have multiplication division part, and the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So we should multiply 1 times 6, which gives us which gives us 6, and with this division in the in the end, so we have 6 divided by 6, which gives us, right here we have 1, option C. And there is this very interesting moment right here, because as you can see, we have completely the same, completely the same answer, but different solution. But how it happens right here, how it happens? Take a look closer, right here this is very bad solution, because we solve it in a wrong order, we just divide right here, then we divide right here, so we jump from left to right. This solution is correctly but with parentheses, okay? So if you put brackets right here, if you put parentheses, then we can easily solve this question like that. Parentheses at first, then parentheses right here, so one right here, one right here, which is which is correct for us. But in without parentheses, we should forget about this option C. This is a very bad solution in terms of in terms of mass. Because we can't jump from left to right. With parentheses, this is a great solution and a correct answer. Okay? Let's look at this second interpretation. We have a great solution because we solve it according to a correct order of operations so of division, then multiplication, then division. So from left to right, and of course division and multiplication have the same priority. So this is a correct solution and a correct answer. So we can easily write our answer and moreover if you look closely in the middle right here we have division by 6 and we have multiplication by 6. So saying in another words you give 5 apples and you take away 5. So right here we have division by 6 and multiplication by 6. So it changed nothing. So we can easily cancel this and as a result we have this 6 and this division by 6. So we have we have 1 which is which is a correct answer and this is a correct solution. So let's write our answer. Our answer is is one. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of challenges. So thank you for your time, for your support. See you in the next videos and have a great day.